The Enhancement Talent of the Week is brought to you by Star Will Books, your map to amazing stories. Star Will Books is the publisher of the best-selling science fiction series, The Adventures of Duke LaGrange. You can visit them today at starwillbooks.com. And I actually was just told you can visit the author website and the site for The Adventures of Duke LaGrange at dukelagrange.com. So check those two sites out, buy some books, tell them the Wrestling Life Support sent you, and everybody will be hunky-dory, happy, and glad all over. So, Donnie, guess what? I got a good one this week. A really, really, really good one. Oh, boy. So, this talent, he started wrestling around 1990. So, a little bit later than some of the, uh, some of the other enhancement talents of the week we've done. And what I can find is he probably you know, wound down his career in the late 90s, but there are rumors and stuff that he might have even been wrestling after that on some indies. It just I haven't found the formal documentation, but that's what I've heard. Like I said, it's hearsay at this point. So you're looking at a guy that's just very much of the 1990s. He wrestled in the WWF, WCW, even had one match in Smoky Mountain, which he won undefeated all time in Smoky Mountain, and then really concentrated most of his time in the Indies in the Midwest. So think Wisconsin, Minnesota, Ohio, Michigan, that area. He was a mainstay throughout basically the better part of a decade. This talent has tagged with Brad Armstrong in WCW and defeated the Royal Family at a house show. So, bam, that's a huge win there. I mean, a clean pin, not a DQ. He beat the Royal Family, so good stuff there. But the cool stuff is in the WWF because he not only wrestled Ric Flair during his first WWF run once, he wrestled him twice. So Ric must have been like, hey, this guy makes me look good. Let's get him on there. Um, But also... He, he tagged against the Legion of Doom with maybe the greatest enhancement name, enhancement talent name of all time, and that is Bobby Salsa. And Bobby Salsa will eventually become an enhancement talent of the week, maybe the first multi-time winner of this award. But, you know, he wrestled everybody else from Shawn Michaels and Sid, Jake, Demolition, Bob Backlund, the Berserker, Nails, Abe Knuckleball Schwartz. I mean, a totally, I mean, basically from one end of the spectrum to the other you have Ric Flair and you have uh, Abe Knuckleball Schwartz. So the guy's done it all. In uh, Like I mentioned, in Smoky Mountain, he did win uh, his one match over IWA regular Tower of Doom. Uh, he also wrestled the Steiners in WCW. A couple of their swings through the Midwest, he was kind of that, that enhancement go-to guy. Now on the indies, he made a name for himself, like I said, in the Midwest – Cleveland All Pro was a pretty long running big independent promotion up there. And he beat Johnny Grunge of Public Enemy fame for the title, but also defended that title against guys like Ivan Koloff and Virgil. Yes, Virgil, who he drew with, um, and then wrestled people like the Junkyard Dog and uh, Johnny Valiant and Bobby Fulton and Sean Casey and stuff all throughout that Midwest territory in the, uh, the early and mid 90s. So cool stuff. He also, and I actually have a question for you. We're going to take a little bit of a tangent away from uh from this enhancement talent do you remember in the 90s a promotion in the midwest called the great lakes wrestling association glwa because i didn't sounds like a baby familiar from magazines possibly yeah you probably were that promotion brought in names like jerry lawler the original Sheik, the fabulous moolah against rock and robin was on one of their like promo reels yeah i mean nuts the fake and manny fernandez uh paul orndorff Kamala, uh, Larry Zabisco with Baby Doll. I mean, they had some really cool stuff. They brought in the freaking Killer Bees, and the cool thing about it, and I, and I, you can go on the on YouTube and watch some of these like promo reels. Is they would actually have name versus name, like so, which isn't always the thing on Independence, where you'd have you know the local guy getting a shot against you know insert legend here. But this enhancement talent was a regular in that promotion and actually won a lot of matches there. So. Without further ado, any guesses, any kind of like anything ringing a bell here from, uh, I mean, a lot of people could kind of fit this, <laughs> this description, but I was curious, anything jumping out? I don't believe so. I think it's all you this week. Yeah. So this was the enhancement talent that actually looked like he could have been a WWF regular uh, in the early 90s, and that is Ron Cumberledge. Ron Cumberledge, Enhancement Talent of the Week. Well-deserved, well-earned. I hope you're still out there wrestling because you were awesome. I mean, like I said, you got to wrestle Ric Flair twice in about a 
year period. Pretty badass stuff. So once again, the enhancement talent of the week, Mr. Ron Cumberledge. <laughs> 